Hello, this is Pavel Zhou. I'm an application scientist with Applied Photophysics. In this video, I will demonstrate how SX20 stop flow spectrometer can be used to study enzyme kinetics. This is one of the most common applications for our instrument, because these reactions are typically very fast. Also, our instruments allow to interrogate complex reaction mechanisms for enzymes that can act as major drug targets or be used in other applications in pharma and biotechnology industries. In the simplest enzyme kinetics case, SX20 can enable researchers to obtain rate constants for reactions between an enzyme and its substrate. However, more complex reactions are possible with a combination of, of our hardware and software solutions. For this demonstration, we will use SX20 in a single mixing configuration along with a photodiode array accessory. Single mixing implies mixing an enzyme in one syringe and a substrate in the other, and observing an optical change as a function of time as the substrate is converted into the product. Sequential mixing, or mixing of three reagents, is also supported on our instrument. We have made a video demonstrating how to switch from single to sequential mode on SX20, which you can check by clicking the link in the video description. Photodiode accessory allows to capture full absorbance spectra changes instead of changes at an individual wavelength with a standard absorbance detector. PDA is best used for enzyme kinetics reactions with several intermediates, where detection of various chromophores can be done in a single experimental run. In this demo reaction, we mix alkaline phosphatase enzyme with its substrate, paranitrophenyl phosphate, or PNPP, and observe formation of the yellow colored product with a PDA accessory. To do that, we will follow this protocol. First, we prepare the system by flushing flow lines with water and buffer if required. Then we take the baseline scan. Then we load enzyme and substrate into individual drive syringes and prime the flow lines with solutions by pressing drive three or four times. After, we select our experimental conditions. Depending on the speed of the reaction, we set appropriate acquisition time window. In this case, our observation window is 250 seconds. Finally, we press acquire. It's worth noting that SX20 is capable of recording reactions in the millisecond time scales due to very short dead time. For this experiment, we also perform several repeats for validation. Standard stop flow mixing experiment, like recording absorbance of fluorescence, is automated and the runs are repeated in a sequence where first the excess liquid is discharged from the stop syringe into the waste and then defined volumes from dry syringes are mixed into the observation cell. This creates a displacement of liquid which then travels down the stop syringe, activating signal acquisition with minimal millisecond dead time. After data collection, we can focus on specific wavelength traits that we'd like to obtain a rate constant for. In this case, it is around 410 nanometers. For that, we remove all other traces and then proceed with data fitting. Finally, we arrive at a rate constant of 0.016. If it was a more complex reaction, we can also use our Pro-K4 software for fitting PDA data and doing a global analysis and building a model. Thank you for your attention. We hope this brief tutorial was helpful. Please visit our website photophysics.com to learn more about our SX20 stop flow spectrometer as well as other products and services and get in touch with our customer support team should you need any further assistance.